Hi guys, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to create first mapping using Informatica Power Center. So this is the first lecture of this Informatica. So let's see. So first you are going to open their repository. Power Center repository. And now let's uh, select this rip and click on this connect. There you need to give the user administrator password. Now after giving administrator power password, let's click on this connect. So there you can see I already have the folder, but I'm going to create new. So for this one, let's go on this folder, click on this create. So you need to give here meaningful name of this folder. So here giving in for medica underscore train. Informatica underscore train. If you want, then you can give your description. So let's give you a little description there. Informatica classes. Then uh, this here, OS property by default, it's selected none. And this is active. If you want, then you can select here allow shortcut. So this I will discuss later and this about permission. So I will discuss this all later. Now let's click on this. The folder has been successfully created. So folder that's created. Now double click on this folder. Then after this repository it's selected. Let's go on this designer. So this is uh, here mapping designer. So currently I don't have any source target. I don't have any mapping. So source analyzer that's selected. Now here you need to click on this source import. You can import from the database file or this all. So let's the uh, first lecture is there. So going to select your database. And uh, you can see this all connections are available. So here you can uh, get here ODBC data source. So creating new data source. So triple dot you need to click. So let's click on this add. And here you can see this all ODBC. And here or you can connect with the Oracle or SQL server. So let's select here Oracle. And uh, click on this OK. Then here data source you need to give. So giving here HR underscore connect so data source name must be meaningful here this is description and tsn if you click on this drop down so it's not selected but you need to give get here correct tsn name it should be o x e or you can give orc here then user id going to connect with the ho so giving ho now let's click on this test connection and here HR password you need to give. After that click on OK. So connection successful. Thereafter let's click on this OK. So HR connect that's come there. And now you need to select here that, that I just created one new connection HR connect. And here username giving automatically honor that selected let's give here password click on this connect so here hr tables that's come there from this place you can uh, select any tables so here going to open this regular sql here going to use the source as employees table and uh, this is the record inside this employees table and uh, so that employees going to select. This is the sources there, employees. So employees that selected. And if you check that, now click on this OK. So here you can see this is now source analyzer employees table that's come there. Now you can see here in source uh, HR connect. And now you can see employees or table that's come there.
from Oracle database. So there is nothing inside the target. So what we need to do? Let's go on this target design now. Then again here target. Click on this import database. So here let's click on this or uh, triple dot. If you want then you can connect here new. Or if you want then you can utilize the same connection. So I already created new. Already created here HR connect. Selecting this. Now let's give here password. So source and target is the same database. First time using so that giving. And now click on this tables. And this is the target table that's selecting there. Click on OK. So here you can see this all columns that's projected there. Total is column 8. Now you can see inside the target employees TZD that's come there. Now if I go on this employees TZD select here and now click on this run. So you can see there is nothing inside the employees so TZD. So the next is after here you can see target designer and source. Now uh, this all that's come there. After that or uh, you don't need to select these tools right now. Let's give off this mapping designer. So mapping designer first we need to get here the source. So dragging there uh, source so table inside the mapping designer. So here let's give meaningful name m underscore first underscore mapping. So first mapping let's give ok and now here you can see this source that's come there. After that here let's drag this target so target that's come there so there i'm going to create one to one mapping okay so one to one mapping let's make that little bigger okay leave that so this here you can see this uh, source definition and source qualifier. Let's uh, select this all. And now let's drag there. Or select this all and after that drag on the top. Then all the columns of this source qualifier or this all that's come to the target designer. Okay, so the next is let's go on this mapping and you need to click on this validate mapping. So there is no any problem with the mapping so that it's so displaying go valid. Mapping is valid. After that, we need to save this mapping. For this one, press here control S. So mapping that save. Mapping first, mapping is valid and now mapping is saved. Control S to save. After that, let's go on this so, workflow. And uh, here, informatical training that's selected. So here, let's so, click on this create. So creating the new session. S underscore first. Here, session. Click on this create. And here, mapping go M, first mapping that's come there. Let's click on this OK. So session that's uh, selected. Now thereafter let's go on this workflow. So workflow, let's click on this create. So here table underscore work flow. So this all property inside the workflow, this all I will discuss later. Now after that, here you can see session is there. Let's drag the session this place. So let's go on this task and here click on this link task. So stabilizing the link between here workflow and here session. Control S to save. So here you can see this workflow is the valid. After that let's go on this connection. Click on this relational. And here click on this new. So here you can see list of connections are available. You can use anyone. So let's uh, select here Oracle. Oracle and here giving 
दिस प्लेस न्यू अंडरस्कोर और एक कनेक्ट एंड हियर फॉर दिस वन वी नीड टू गिव द यूजर नेम लेट्स गिव हियर यूजर नेम पासवर्ड कनेक्शन एक्सट्रिंग दिस वुड बी और सीयर और इफ यू आर यूजिंग गो और एक्सप्रेस एडिशन देन यू कैन गिव हियर एक्सी और अदर देन यू कैन गिव और सीयर सो गिविंग हियर एक्सी After that, click on this. Okay. So this comes there. New Oracle Connect, and here close. Now let's go on this, and here click on this Add it. Select the properties, and this all that's come there. Here you need to select the source. So for this one, we need to click there, and here New Oracle. and they are going to select the target and there are so many properties are available this place so this all you can see this all i will discuss in the later video not this terms later video okay so after that click on this apply and now okay and there after control as to say mapping is valid so after all uh, this let's right click and here you can see a start task so if uh, everything is okay so here you can see this is now workflow and session both are running and succeeded so both are succeeded let's go on this right click there then or uh, this you can get here get session log so session log properties you can get here and now you can get the little or uh, description there so this is now source data and here this is tcd you can see employee tcd that so uh, loaded 107 record so inside the employees 107 that's loaded and here you can see this is employees table and here rows are read 107 okay so next thing is let's go so here you can see employees tcd that was empty but if i run this here you can see the records that's all the records of this employees table that's come there and if i compare Here you can see total one not seven record here row count one not seven. So this is how we can create fast mapping in Informatica. So I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.